I've got a feeling, a feeling deep inside. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've got a feeling, a feeling I can't hide. Oh no, oh no. I've got a feeling Hey guys, this is How To Play I've Got A Feeling by The Beatles, one of the easiest Beatles songs I think that exists in the whole world. It just uses the chords E major, A major and D major. There's also one slight variation of one of those chords, but don't worry, you just take off one finger, so it's nice and easy. Um, this is one of our song examples from level two of my free beginners course at andyguitar.co.uk. I'm therefore keeping the strumming slightly simpler than it would be along to the original. We're just going to be mainly playing on the beats and getting some eighth strumming in there if we can, but it's going to be nice and simple, appropriate for virtually everyone following my channel. Um, let's get you straight in for a close-up with this Easy Beatles song. I've got a feeling, a feeling deep inside, oh yeah. So in this song you can see we have two strums of our A chord and then two strums of our D chord. And for the vast majority of the song that's all we're going to do and really for level two of my beginners course that's kind of the maximum. If you can do that you're really, you're absolutely nailing level two, you know, you're, you're kicking ass. Um, so it's this change that we're wanting to get up to speed at this level. A, D. And you know, you could spend a month just changing from A to D to really get that change nailed. Or you could learn an actual song that basically does the same thing and after you've done it, you can play a song that sounds cool and many songs. So let's um, join into me now. We have two strums of the A chord and then two strums of the D chord. Don't worry too much about counting or bars and beats in this one. In fact, it gets quite a trick to not count. Be able to just play all the right stuff without having one, two, three, four, you know, going through your head all the time. It can actually start to hold you back a little bit if you over rely on counting in your head. So just two strums of each chord. You know, if you have to count to two, go for it. But just try and think about nothing and just try and do it, okay? Try and clear your mind and just strum twice for each chord. We're going to go a little bit slower than that to start off with, just to get the feel of the song. Join into me in two, three, from your A chord. A, A, D, D. A, A, D, D. One and the other. A, A, D. D. Now if that's something that you're really, really struggling with, you do need to just drill the change a little bit. Play an A chord, play a D chord, one, then the other, then one. Keeping this first finger down, and one thing that a lot of people forget to do, they, they find it a lot easier, my, my students, by not moving this first finger. If you just keep it where it is on the A chord, and then move it to the D, that might be easier to do quicker, however your D chord might start to sound a bit, it might stop ringing out. So we need to move all of these fingers as far this way as you can get on the, on the D chord. It's a real thing about this anchor finger, we want to shuffle it along. And if you don't shuffle it along, it doesn't quite work as well. If you find that tougher to get the speed of it, You've got to balance, you know, getting, the, getting what you're playing up to tempo with how it's sounding. If it's not ringing out, then there's no point in playing it fast, basically, is there? So once we've got that change working, and we can do the exercise I've just showed you, um, we want to think about the song a little bit more, because we've got the mechanics down, so this is something we can take on. What we have is two lines of the lyrics, which are, I've got a feeling, feeling deep inside, oh yeah. 
and then you've got basically the same thing again as that. And all the time, we're just keeping A and a D going in the background. It doesn't really... How many bars of each one you do may not help you. You need to know the song well enough and then it will become a lot easier for you. So, I mean, if you haven't heard this song yet, check out the original record by the Beatles. It'll be there on YouTube or it should be in your iTunes. Um, have a listen to it first and then work off that, work off sort of how it goes. But we want to get... I've got a feeling, a feeling deep inside, oh yeah. And you just keep that change going. One, two, three. You've got to do all of that again. I've got a feeling, a feeling I can't hide, oh yeah, oh yeah. And it's when we get to there, so where you'd expect it to go, I've got a feeling again, it doesn't. We've got two, those two lines, and then we have a new chord, which strictly is not at level two of my beginner's score. So this is a bit different and a bit trickier, okay? Um, it's really difficult. You have to play the A chord and take off your first finger. I know it's it is like rocket science playing guitar sometimes, but occasionally you just have to take a finger off and then you're playing a totally new, very cool chord. And this is a bluesy sounding seventh chord. It's called the A7. And we play that for one bar. One, two, three, four. And then we need to change to the E chord and then quickly to the D. So one, two, D. E, E, D. And basically, that's the whole thing. That's the trickiest bit of it. Now it always ends up that the tricky bit of the song, the fiddly bit, always lasts like two seconds or something. You know, it lasts such a short amount of time. Don't get paranoid over this bit. Play the A and the D chord until it becomes absolutely routine to do this, okay? This is what I need you to be able to do at level two of the beginner's course so we can move you forward. That is what this song's about, really. Sticking to my beginner's course, okay? Trying to get you guys progressing on guitar. That's all I'm expecting. If you can get anywhere near doing it to this tempo, yeah, absolutely. You're a badass, okay? You're an absolute badass. Um, but to play the whole song, a little bit more time, and this goes specific to this song. Take off your first finger, strum the that A chord. Take off your first finger, we're playing an A7. Strum it four times. Two, three, four. Strum the E chord twice. One, two, and then strum a D chord once. Let me demo that in context. I've got a feeling and then you go back to what you were doing before. I've got a feeling, a feeling deep inside, oh yeah. Let me show you that bit one more time. So the A7 without your first finger. E to a D. I've got a feeling. And like so many songs, when he says the title of the song, if you mute, I've got a feeling, it allows you to hear the title of the song when he says it. It gives it more impact, and that's what happens in this record. So one time through this bit, as I say, if you struggle, it is quick. Don't worry about it. It's not the priority. If you've just got the A to the D changed down, you can move on from this video. It's totally cool. Uh, from the A7, four strums in two, three, four. One, two, three. E major, E to a D and mute. One strum with the D chord and lay the outside of the palm of your hand flat against your strings and it mutes it. One, two, three, four. I've got a feeling. And then you go back to what you were doing before. Okay? Finally, if you could play that E chord to a slightly different rhythm, you would be an absolute badass if you could do this okay. So what we have to count is, to keep it strict to the record, for people that know the record really well, you can go one and a two and a three and a four and. 
okay? That's exactly like the Beatles play it, okay? If we go one and a two and a three, one and a two and a three and a four and a do, do, do. I've got a feeling. And, and then play it from there. All of that is written on a chord sheet that is available at my website by clicking the description or you can click the logo and the guitar logo probably over there or something. And all of that will be written out for you in the way that I would write it out for my students, okay? So check out that and use it as a prompt for what's going to happen. But with your chord sheets, try and use them as nothing more than a prompt and just get down. If there's one change that happens a lot or one part that repeats, like an A to a D chord, make sure you can physically do that before you concern yourself with where things happen. Make this routine and then move on to taking on, right, I've got that now. I'm going to keep doing that while thinking of the song in my head and then change when I know the song changes. And that's how you'll really make the best out of this beginner's course if you come from it that, with that mentality. mentality. Um, mechanics first and then knowing how the song goes and you'll play everything um, exactly how I would have you play it in private lessons with me. If you've enjoyed that lesson, why not check out any of these other songs from level two of my free beginners course. It uses the same chords as this song that we've just learnt. And if you can do this one, you'll be able to do any of these other songs for definite. If you struggled a little bit with this one, just persevered a little bit. You, you know, these YouTube videos are a little bit shorter than I maybe do them in lesson time. So give yourself a little bit of a chance to, to get the chords underneath your fingers. And be sure to subscribe if you like what I do. We're having regular uploads, um, around two uploads a week of brand new song lessons and guitar lessons. Um, I hope to see you again, should you stick around at the channel. Bye for now.